name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, good morning. Our entrance hymn number 202, Enter, Rejoice, and Come In. Enter, rejoice, and come in. Enter, rejoice, and come in. Today will be a joyful day. Enter, rejoice, and come in. Open your hearts to all men. Open your hearts to all men. Today will be a joyful day. Open your hearts to all men. Open your hearts to the Lord. Open your hearts to the Lord. Today will be a joyful day. Open your hearts to the Lord. Sing alleluia. Sing alleluia. Today will be a joyful day. Sing alleluia. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, Father. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness. Come, let us adore him. Psalms and Canticles from Saturday, week one. My eyes watch for you before dawn. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My, my eyes watch, watch for you before, before dawn. dawn. The Lord is my strength, I will sing his praise. He is my salvation. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Horse and rider, he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God, and I extol him. My Father's God, and I give him praise. The Lord is a warrior. 
The Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. At the breath of Yanga, the waters piled high. The moving waters stood up like a dam. The deeps turned solid in the midst of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the plunder. I shall have my will. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. You blew with your breath. The sea closed over them. They went down like lead into the mighty waters. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you, so glorious in holiness, spreading fear through your deeds, you who do marvels? You stretch forth your hand, the earth engulf them. Your love has guided the people you redeemed. Your power has led them to your holy dwelling place. You will lead them and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my strength. strength. I, will I will sing, sing his, his praise. praise. He, he is, is my salvation. salvation. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, oh praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord, all you nations. nations. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and the humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, heard a voice saying, These are my two witnesses, are the two olive trees and the two lambs that stand before the Lord of the world. Fire can come from their mouth and consume their enemies if anyone tries to harm them. And if anybody does try to harm them, he will certainly be killed in this way. They are able to lock up the sky so that it does not rain as long as they are prophesying. They are able to turn water into blood and strike the whole world with any plague as often as they like. When they have completed their witnessing, the beast that comes out of the abyss is going to make war on them and overcome them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city known by the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt, in which their Lord was crucified. Men out of every place, every people, race, language, and nation will stare at their corpses for three and a half days, not letting them be buried. And the people of the world will be glad about it and celebrate the event by giving presents to each other because these two prophets have been a plague to the people of the world. After the three and a half days, God breathed life into their corpses, 
and they stood up and everybody who saw it happen was terrified. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, come up here. And while their enemies were watching, they went up to heaven in a cloud. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our response, blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed lute. To you, who give kings their victory, who set David, your servant, free. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, Lord my rock. Alleluia. 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 Blessed are those who with a noble and a generous heart take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia. Alleluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who say that there is no resurrection, approach Jesus and they put this question to him. Master, we have it from Moses in writing that if a man's married bro brother dies childless, the man must marry the widow to raise up children for his brother. Well then, there were seven brothers. The first, having married a wife, died childless. The second and then the third married a widow. The same with all seven. They died leaving no children. Finally, the woman herself died. Now at the resurrection, to which of them will she be wife since she had been married to all seven? Jesus replied, the children of this world take wives and husbands, but those who are judged worthy of a place in the other world and in the resurrection from the dead do not marry because they can no longer die, for they are the same as angels. And being children of the resurrection, they are children of God. And Moses himself implies that the dead rise again in a passage about the bush we call the Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God, not of the dead, but of the living. For to him, all people are in fact alive. Some scribes then spoke up, well put master, they said, because they would not dare to question him anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So my dear friends, once again the church, don't forget what November is. I don't know if we, people really take on November. Well, we do pray for the dead, but it is much more than that. It's about whether we are going to die too. No? And whether or not death is going to have the last say. So what Jesus is doing today is telling us that the resurrection is our ultimate hope and goal. Our ultimate hope and goal. We are going to overcome the wages of sin, which is death. Paul says that's the last enemy to be destroyed. No? And again, you have to go back to Eden to overcome the alienation from self, from God, and from others. So that's what the resurrection is all about. No? 
And that is why we should be looking towards a resurrection. Now, the great alienation that took place in the garden, it brought about a lot of difficulties. We were told in Genesis chapter 3, like the pain of childbearing, the war of the sexes where men and women distrust one another, great distrust, the hardships involved in feeding humanity, tears and crying, and we realize that we are moving from dust to dust, and we are moving to mortality. That's because of the alienation which does not say anything good about us, that we're going back into nothingness. We're going back to nothingness, no? But the resurrection is our victory and our destiny, no? In the resurrection, all our hopes and dreams are fulfilled. All our dreams are fulfilled, no? It's like our baptismal journey is completed and our life that is hidden in Christ is now fully revealed, fully realized. Our adoption, you see, like now we say we're children of God, but we're not fully so. No? It's something that is taking place, if we allow it to take place. But at the resurrection, our adoption will be complete. And therefore, we know then that we are going to be freed from the faith of death to share in the freedom and glory of the children of God. We are children of God, we are children of the resurrection, and so we don't have any need. Why do you think people get married? Because of the need to attach. No? Because of the need for communion. It's part of human need. But in the resurrection, we don't have that need. So that is why there is no marriage. I don't know if most people think about it, because many people, even though their husband died many years, they still celebrate it. Well, it's good to remember, but they also have to remember that until death do us part, that we're looking for the final marriage, the marriage feast of the Lamb. The church is married to the Lamb. No? So the idea is not about, well, when we get to heaven, I'm going to get back with my husband, I get back with my wife. You don't need that. That is, that is not a need. It's simply communion with God and with one another. Well, we can't tell people not to do it because you always want to remember the person that you were with. But the problem is you might forget the truth. The truth as to where we are going. And if, if we re reflect on the truth, then we realize that yes, we do have a great hope. And all of the difficulties that we go through in life, they will pass away. That is why we are told, in, in I believe in chapter 25 of Isaiah, There'll be no more death, no more tears. Well, also in Revelation, those things will pass away. No more need. We, we are going to be where we must be. And, and, and in this life, and again, people don't think about it, but think about what happens in this life. Can I never take away all our pain? Can never. Look at all those people who see themselves as big men around the world. There are people who sometimes they become senile or before they die, so they don't even know what is happening in the world. Others die a miserable death because other people kill them, they overthrow them, or they give them all sorts of bad names. So you must imagine the pain that they go through. The pain that they go through. We, we, we from outside think that they're happy. Same thing with the celebrities. We think, oh gosh, all these people have so much money, they must be so happy, but they're not, most of them. Can't say none of them is happy, but in general, they're not. When you really look at their lives and see how they live, you realize they're not. And it is not because there's something bad about them. The only thing that is bad is if they do not hold on to Jesus. But apart from that, it's not something that is bad. It's just the way about humanity, that there is nothing on earth that can bring us fulfillment. That does not mean that we must not enjoy the things of earth. But how can you do that and forget where you're going? Keep your eyes on the things of heaven. That's our final destiny. You might want to read that in Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. Keep your eyes on the things of heaven, you know? Because our baptismal journey is fulfilled in the resurrection. I like to say that our baptismal journey, we are baptized. 
in order to die, in order to rise, and that is completed at the resurrection. No more pain, no more tears, no more crying. Only one marriage is necessary, the church to the Lamb, and all will be well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Let us pray. Open to us the treasures of your love. Open, Open to, to us the, the treasures, treasures of, of your love. Christ became man to make us sons and daughters of God, and he intercedes for us before God our Father. Let us thank him for his loving mercy and decree. Open, Open to, to us, us the, the treasures, treasures of, of your, your love. love. You have enlightened us in baptism. We consecrate our day to you. Open, Open to, to us, us the, the treasures, treasures of, of your love. love. Fill us with praise of you today. May we take your word with us wherever we may go. Open, Open to, to us the, the treasures, treasures of, of your love. love. Teach us to respond to your word like Mary, our mother. May your word be fruitful in us. Open to us the treasures of your love. Give us courage when things go wrong. Strengthen us with faith in you, with hope in your promises, and with love of your will. Open to us the treasures of your love. And we lift up Francis and Jason, our bishops. May their ministry motivate the faithful to think of and seek what is above where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father, we pray. Open, Open to, to us the treasures of your love. We place our sick brothers and sisters at the foot of your cross, Jesus. Let your healing blood flow over them and make them whole, we pray. Open, Open to us the treasures, treasures of your love. We come to you, dear Lord, asking, seeking and knocking. And may we seek above all else to be at the right hand of the Father with those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. We pray. Open, open to us the treasures of your love. May the grace of the Holy Eucharist open our eyes of faith that we may see beyond earthly realities, that we may see the glory of everlasting life that Jesus has won for us. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we, 
who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may, through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in love of you <clears throat> and of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere. To give you thanks Lord. Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God. And to praise, bless and glorify your name as we celebrate the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived the only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light. Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, our Father, using the words that Jesus, our Savior and brother, gave us, and ask the Lord to always help us to keep our minds, to think of the things of heaven where we truly belong, where we are going, and not just on earthly things. So let us dare say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, power, and the, the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Who by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. The peace of Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace, Lamb of God. Grant us your peace, Lamb of God. My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. If I'm holy, as you are holy, then I'll see you face to face. Melt and mold me into your image. Take me to your holy place. Lead me on, Lord, from temptation. Purify me from within. Fill my heart with your Holy Spirit. Take away all my Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, right and true, with thanksgiving. I'll be a living sanctuary for you. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment to thine. Let us, dear friends, may the act of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, we believe that you, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end of all in all, that you are God most high, and that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. Lord Jesus, we love you above all things and above all people, and we desire to receive you in our hearts, in our souls, in our minds, but Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally. So come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, and dwell in us. Dwell in every part of our being. And pour out your Holy Spirit, your spirit of love, of goodness, and of life, Lord. Embrace us and give us that blessed assurance that we are going to be yours at the resurrection. We give you thanks and praise. And Lord, teach us how to embrace the resurrection right now. Unite ourselves wholly and completely to you, and never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand for the Benedictus. Give your light, Lord, to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who are his prophets from of old. A savior who would free us from our foes, 
from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will, will give light to those in darkness, darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give your light, Lord, to those who sit in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. And, and enjoy the day, my friends. Thank you. Number 164. My soul glorifies the Lord. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call on me blessed. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy from his forefathers, forever and his sons forever. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. 
He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. Give glory to the Father, Father Almighty, to his, his Son, Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts forever and ever. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed.